Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. If x to the power of 5 is equal to 1, solve for all values of the sum of the following four fractions. The first fraction is x divided by 1 plus x squared. The second fraction is x squared divided by 1 plus x to the power of 4. The third fraction is x cubed divided by 1 plus x. And the last fraction is x to the power of 4 divided by 1 plus x cubed. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We can get started by guessing a solution to this equation. If x to the power of 5 is equal to 1, then one value that satisfies this equation is x is equal to 1. We can substitute this value, and then we can simplify each fraction. All four fractions become the same value of 1 over 2. The sum of these fractions will then be equal to 2. This is if x is equal to 1. But what if x is not equal to 1? We will show you will get exactly the same result that the sum of the fractions is equal to 2. To see why, we'll get started with x to the power of 5 is equal to 1. We'll multiply both sides of this equation by x to get x to the power of 6 is equal to x. We'll take this equation and then multiply both sides of the equation by x. We will get x to the power of 7 is equal to x squared. From here, we are going to modify each of these fractions. Let's make each numerator in the fraction x to the power of 5. The first fraction will multiply by x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 4. The second fraction will multiply by x to the power of 3 over x to the power of 3. The next fraction will multiply by x squared over x squared. And the last fraction will multiply by x over x. We'll simplify each of these fractions. The first fraction will become x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 6. The second fraction will be x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 7. The next fraction will be x to the power of 5 divided by x squared plus x cubed. And the last fraction will be x to the power of 5 divided by x plus x to the power of 4. From here, we'll simplify each fraction. Recall that x to the power of 5 is equal to 1. So all of the numerators will become 1. Then x to the power of 6 is equal to x, which will substitute into the first fraction. From here, x to the power of 7 is equal to x squared, so we'll substitute that into the second fraction. From here, the second and third fractions have exactly the same denominator. So their sum will be 2 divided by x squared plus x cubed. Then the first and last fractions also have the same denominator. So their sum will be 2 divided by x plus x to the power of 4. We now want to add these two fractions. To do that, we'll get a common denominator. So from the first fraction, we'll multiply by x plus x to the power of 4 divided by x plus x to the power of 4. In the second fraction, we'll multiply by x squared plus x cubed divided by x squared plus x cubed. The first fraction simplifies to be the following. The second fraction simplifies to be the following. We then want to sum these two fractions. Since they have the same denominator, we can simply sum their numerators. So we get the following fraction. We can then simplify this because we'll recall that x to the power of 6 is equal to x and x to the power of 7 is equal to x squared. So the denominator becomes the following and then we'll simply rearrange it in ascending order. So we finally have this fraction where we have 2 multiplied by x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, and the denominator is exactly that same quantity, x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4. So these two quantities will cancel. And thus, this all simplifies to be exactly equal to 2. The answer is too good. Thanks for making us one of the best channels on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.